Hey, it's me, Rishya. Today, I'm showing you how to create a parallax effect using Premiere Pro. And you can use your image, landscape image or portrait image move or animate using this style. This is not a perfect style, it's a simple technique. First, you need to create a, a sequence and I just create a full HD sequence and next you import your image into Premiere and drag it into timeline and just press plus key in keyboard for zooming the timeline and this is our image and right click next this image and add a name and this is our nested image if you animate this nest for example add a keyframe at scale and this increase and we add an animation to the nest and if you double click on this nest and you can here, see here our nested sequence and you can change image anytime and back to the sequence for okay you can get the animation at the same this is, a, use, this is the technique we are using here so I delete all and create a sequence And relax and import your image again and drag it into the timeline and press plus key in keyboard for zooming and right click next add a name delete from timeline and drag the nested sequence again into timeline. Select the nested sequence and go to opacity FS control window and opacity. And here you can see the mask. Now you can see only your image through this mask. So select both this anchor point and hold the shift key and move it and select both this and hold the shift key and move it and press all key and duplicate this and move the click and move to the board top layer you can duplicate the same nested sequence again and select this second nested and go click the mask one and select the mask anchor point and hold the shift key press the down arrow key in five times one two three four five and select the bottom sorry select the top anchor point and hold the shift key press the bottom arrow key five times one two three four five and again alt click and drag so you can duplicate the nested sequence and select the mask one click here select the bottom anchor point hold the shift key press down key in seven times one two three four five six Seven. and top hold the shift key seven times up arrow one two three four five six seven and again duplicate the nested click the mask one select the bottom anchor point hold the shift key and 
11 times and hold duplicate and click the mask one select the top anger point of this mask hold the shift key 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And duplicate again. And finish this. Yeah. Okay. And here is it. You can see. all of your sequence here next you want to reverse this layer sequence so drag this top into bottom and this is to here and here and here and here now right click and double delete Select the bottom sequence and go to the motion and you can go to the end of this timeline and add a keyframe metric scale at 100 and every frame, every sequence you need to add a keyframe at 100 in scale. Select every sequence and add a keyframe select the sequence go to the access control and add a keyframe in scale at a hundred you can verify everything is okay now go to the first frame and select the bottom sequence and go to scale press and a value to 125 and select the second sequence and 120 and 114 and 110 110 104 Now your parallax style is okay. If you hit on the space bar, you can see your animated parallax here. Yeah, this is a simple technique and you can use this style in your slideshow and you can animate your photo for your Instagram or anything. And hope you enjoy it. And another thing. If you want to change your image or uh, just double click on this nested sequence and here is only one image just drag and drop your image into here and scale the frame size yeah if you come back to the main sequence you can get the same animation in every image so you don't need to create every time this animation 
just create one time and change your image if you want to copy this image uh, sorry copy copy this mm, sequence for next slide uh, here is a simple technique uh, i think it's too slow right click on your nested sequence and duplicate this and change name into b and drag into here and select this and go to opacity select the first sequence and select control c and here Control V and hold press drag. Okay, here and Control C. This mask and Control V and duplicate again. You can do the same thing here. Select here and select the scale and click here and control V. Sorry, control V. You can copy paste the same animation. Control C, click here and select the scale control v and you animated okay now double click on this nested sequence just change your image and come back to the parallax hope you enjoyed see you with another really exciting tutorial